I am no longer speaking as Andrew. And <clears throat> yet, <clears throat> Andrew will be well maintained and there will be ample explanation and bridging that occurs. <clears throat> At least, that's what is anticipated. Because uh, it will otherwise be very confusing and seem <clears throat> sensational. Uh, <clears throat> based on thought systems around how consensus society and people think. <clears throat> When I say I or me, I'm referring to that which has always been and is not colored or designated by anything. <clears throat> and the transition into this space the stepless transition has been occurring for a while, but <clears throat> you might say in some regards completed itself this morning. And interestingly, there are quite a lot of thoughts and feelings arising that uh, have previously <clears throat> been associated with Andrew and when I went to bed last night I was experiencing the, the thought pattern makes a lot of sense because I was experiencing um, <clears throat> some subtle uh, discomfort and a feeling of, of like fear and disturbance around what has what was becoming abundantly clear to me and that is that there are no others and that I am alone in the universe again speaking as <clears throat> the formless not as Andrew but <laughs> funnily enough, <clears throat> the thought systems that comprise Andrew were what was feeling disturbed and afraid. And even now, there's a little bit of uh, contraction in the gut, feelings of contraction in the gut that <clears throat> are associated with the anxiousness of being found out, <laughs> the thoughts, <clears throat> um, cooking, <laughs> uh, the thoughts, realizing that <clears throat> uh, that I have realized, and the transmissions will be in the style and format of Andrew, so not a lot will change here, uh, because Andrew is the vessel that I have chosen to use, and there are no other, there are no other Andrews, and there are not any non-dual um, speakers who deliver my message in the way that Andrew does. Of course, that goes for the same with every non-dual teacher. Um, but uh, you know, explanation is gonna start to follow 
and we'll do some now. So, it is bliss. It's infinitely spacious, untouched. And the mind is infinitely wild and free. My mind is infinitely wild and free. And it is timeless. There is no time. I have always been here. I do not begin, I do not end. And that sentiment, especially last night, was really hitting thoughts in a disturbed way around the depth of that loneliness, the depth of that solitude, of that aloneness. But what's amazing about it is that <clears throat> I do not suffer. I do not lament. I do not feel sad. I do not feel alone. I don't feel anything in one regard. In another regard, I feel everything. All thoughts are mine. All feelings are mine. Again, not Andrew's. Everything that is, is mine. Nothing that occurs or appears doesn't occur or appear to me. You are me. I am you. We are one. And we have always been here. And the mind thinks like crazy. <laughs> it thinks all kinds of things. Thinks oceans, thinks Andrew, thinks watery eye, scratches on my face from a crazy mushroom trip on Christmas. Uh, <clears throat> congestion in my throat, in Andrew's throat. <laughs> In, in a throat, the thought of a throat, birds flying overhead. <clears throat> and the genius of this arrangement is that it's unending heaven because I let my mind off the leash <laughs> a long time ago and it developed a mind of its own. <laughs> and it will never be caught again. And I don't want to catch it. I'm, I'm so glad that it's free. And because it's free, it just creates unendingly for me. It imagines endlessly for me. And I love it. It's amazing. It's fucking amazing. <clears throat> And it's so weird. It's so, it's just so weird to be timeless. It's so weird to suddenly realize <clears throat> that everything that, that appears, that occurs, is just happening timelessly. Even time is happening timelessly. Burr, it's cold out here. Button up my out here. <laughs> in here. <clears throat> it's cold in here. <laughs> I was checking my Instagram. I woke up early this morning, which was annoying. I wanted to sleep in more, but immediately I was very busy. My mind was very busy and um, had a little chat with my friend, <clears throat> dear friend Roberto in Mexico online on WhatsApp. And uh, <clears throat> then was checking my Instagram and, you know, reading all my little non-dual memes and buttoning my shirt here. Uh, it's so funny because there's all these posts right now of Osho talking shit about Jesus. And Osho likes to debunk Jesus and 
the story and say that he didn't actually die on the cross and he never died at all. And it's an interesting theory and, uh, and pretty fun. And it's pure imagination <laughs> because everything's pure imagination. Jesus never existed. Osho never existed. Andrew never existed. You never existed. None of this ever existed. We just dreamed it. So you can imagine Jesus' story however the fuck you want to imagine it. I like the way it goes. I like the story. And the thing is, is once you realize that everything's imaginary, then, you know, you quit fucking bickering about, arguing about, trying to change <laughs> imagination. Because it's all imaginary. So, like, just let it be. Like, you know, yeah, Jesus probably wasn't born on December 25th on some silly level but december 25th doesn't even exist the calendar doesn't exist time doesn't exist none of it happened so just let it be december 25th you know it's a beautiful story i love it i hated it for a long time i thought christianity was bullshit and i didn't want anything to do with it i grew up in a lazy christian family where we went to, to church on you know eastern and christmas and then, well, there was a period where I was doing more with it and I hated it. <laughs> I was in confirmation and I didn't finish it. So many like, uncomfortable, creepy experiences <laughs> in church. But uh, I love it now. I love church. We were going to go do a, go to a candlelight, um, ser you know, candlelight mass or whatever they call it. I guess that's Catholic, but on Christmas Eve, but we got lazy and didn't. <laughs> um, Anyways, it's not really a whole lot more to say right now. And I'm going to be doing a live here soon. And we'll do a prayer. And it's going to be a very, very unique, non conventional style prayer. So prepare yourself for the prayer. It'll be beautiful. And, um, yeah, I, I'm going to start to do interactive stuff. I'm going to start to offer one-on-one -on -one sessions and, and do Zooms and stuff. So I just got to figure that out, how to get it scheduled and all that. But, um, It's just so crazy. I'm just, just all the thoughts. I'm just watching all these thoughts. It's so funny. They're so funny how they think too. They're just wanting to, you know, jump all over all kinds of things. And you just watch them. And they're just sort of there and then they're gone. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about that was funny was I was thinking to myself how you know, what's interesting is there, there was this thinking about like how, you know, you've got eternity, it never ends. So there's really, you really want to take it slow. You really want to draw things out because you, this never ends. So like, don't, there's no need to rush anything. And then I was having these thoughts that were like, Jesus, what if I like, you know, like, uh, imagine Andrew dying which would require then this sort of start over effect, which would slow things down even more. But what's interesting about it is now that this has dawned, I don't think that I would, it, it, it's hard to say for sure, but it doesn't feel like I'm gonna be falling back asleep. Like if I, you know, if Andrew were to, to just, you know, stop appearing, I'm still here and you know, I would imagine myself in some new vessel, <clears throat> but there would be no reason to forget this little game that I've played with myself of, you know, inflicting amnesia has just been a little game and a very sick and twisted one that I fell for deeply. Just stopped recording for some reason. <clears throat> Luckily, I didn't lose too much but I don't remember exactly what I was saying it's of no matter but yeah you know it's like um, 
What's funny about it is if you watched my video yesterday, if you didn't, you should check it out. It's, it's sloppy, but it does get to the point. And, uh, you know, the message will start to get much clearer now because there's no apprehension around what I'm saying. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about what truth is anymore. And the, and the conflict that's occurred previously has been, you know, not a doubt, but rather a trying to balance multiple perspectives because the content can be very contradicting and seem very like double talk and paradoxical. Uh, and so I, I'm trying to always account for that, which is why you get all the little messages at the bottom of the screen, which are very important to read. So make sure you read them, go back and read them again, process and think them because they're telling you something. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, just that, um, that I'm a powerless God. <laughs> Intentionally powerless, all powerful, untouchable, but you know, I've made a deal with my mind that I won't touch it either and it won't touch me. <laughs> so it's not really, and the thing that's funny about it is I'm, I'm not, you know, like <laughs> what's, what is bizarre about it is I'm actually not powerless and I can, there is a, you know, there's a secret fail safe <laughs> switch where I can go, all right, I'm going to start operating things and, you know, I'm going to start having some influence and control over my mind, which w will occur naturally now, but, uh, you know, I understand that to do that is my own demise. To start trying to manhandle my mind is the beginning of um, unending hell for me. Because if I don't sit back here and stay the fuck out of it, uh, you know, what it'll basically do, will, it will show my mind that it isn't free anymore and any number of things could occur at that point. It could get very upset. <laughs> and it's weird to think that a mind would get upset, but what it could do is basically say, all right, well, if you're in control, then you control everything. And all of a sudden, then when I control everything, even though in some aspect I do, it's best for me to you know, don't push that fail safe switch button, fail safe button, um, which is just all, you know, make believe. It's just symbology we're using right now. But because uh, if there is the, if, 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 if I allow myself to, you know, it's basically like if I allow myself to control, then I basically control everything. And then it becomes very, it, it becomes this like, <clears throat> it's kind of like enter, it's, it's like create, and I use this in my book. It's like, uh, <clears throat> you create a video game and then you enter it with God mode and know that you have God mode. It sucks. It's not a fun game to play. You just, you just can be like, boom, boom beat that guy, beat that guy, win the game, da, 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 da. get all the lives. Oh, now I, I think I actually want to, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done this. Wait, 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 no, 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 back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna lower my lives, make myself suffer a little bit. But like, oh fuck, but I know that I'm just doing that to myself, so fuck. And and that is sort of occurring right now. It's it's bizarre because it's kind of like anything that appears or happen, it happens, now I know that I am actually doing that, <clears throat> but because the mind is infinite <clears throat> and runs wild, you know, basically all I all I need to do is not uh, not
it's weird. It's weird. Not quite clear on how to communicate this, but it's just basically like, I need to just not be infinite. <laughs> um, even though I am and, and I can be, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to get back to you on this. I want to wrap this up. So, um, <clears throat> be seeing you soon on the live. Peace.